With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a thin circular ring first lifts down a smooth incline, then rolls down a rough incline of identical geometry from same height. Ratio of time taken in these two motion is, so here we can say, suppose this is our, let's say here incline plane. So this is our, let's say incline plane and here it says, this body is rolling down first, let's say along a smooth incline, then from here to here, it is rolling along rough incline. So we can see here from point A to B, this is our rolling on smooth incline. So here there is no friction traveling a distance s and here from b to c traveling same distance s but here there is friction so friction coefficient given here as mu now we can see here acceleration here is a1 on the smooth incline and here acceleration on let's say rough incline is a2 now here we can see in both the situation let's say from a to b it starts from rest and from b to c also it starts from rest hence we have here s equal to we can say as ut plus half a t square so we can say u is zero so s is the total distance traveled so u is zero hence half of a t square hence t will come out here as 2s divided by a we can say as square root of this quantity now from a to b let's say here acceleration a1 will be simply our g sin theta whereas from let's say here our b to c a2 acceleration will be given here as for rotational and translatory motion this here is g sin theta divided by 1 plus we have here as i divided by mr square for circular ring we know moment of inertia is mr square hence this comes out to be our g sin theta divided by 1 plus 1 which here is equal to we can say as 2 so g sin theta divided by 2 so we can see here this time is t1 this time here is t2 so we need to find the ratio of the times so we can say here the time taken in this let's say a to b divided by time taken in b to c will be given here as 2s divided by this here is a1 divided by here we have here as 2s divided by a2 so this here comes out to be our root under a2 divided by we can say as a1 hence a2 acceleration we have here as g sin theta divided by we can say as 2 and for a1 we can say this comes as our g sin theta hence this ratio comes as 1 by root under 2 which here is our option number 3 that is 1 by root 2 is the ratio of the time taken in these two motions so option number three we can say is the correct answer hence three is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today